Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today I am going to do an unpacking video as opposed to an unboxing video and basically I was at a Victoria Marie scrapbook retreat a week ago and yes this is my suitcase full of goodies that I have yet to unpack and I thought seeing as I didn't have an opportunity to show you what I packed to take along that I would show you what I did pack and what worked what didn't work etc so I did fly southwest I was allowed to take two checked bags I ended up taking one checked bag and one small carry-on the carry-on held my clothes and this held all the scrapbook supplies that I brought for four days and basically that's what it looks like um, it was a little bit neater but um, TSA got into it and shuffled things around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over into the craft room on my desk and we will start unpacking and I'll show you what I brought and what worked and what didn't okay so uh, this actually takes up most of my desk so I think what I'll do is I'll pull stuff out just kind of expl explain how I group things and then we'll go through the individual items once the suitcase is off, off my table. Um, I have to apologize, this video was supposed to go out much earlier, but I did come down with a cold. As you can tell, my voice is still a little bit <laughs> um, gravelly, but um, yeah, it happens. So between the retreat and going on vacation, it's been a little bit crazy. Anyways, so in this bag, I have all my completed layouts, and I will do a separate video on this showing you what I completed and again what I did for prep because I didn't finish everything that I had prepped so you can see that I have a bag of scraps um, some of these I would normally have gotten rid of right away and recycled but because of the project I'm working on I'm going to hold on to all the scraps until the very end so that's what's in, the, in this bag I brought um, this lug bag that contained some extra bags in case I needed them you know, in case I made purchases or that kind of stuff. <laughs> I like to use Ziploc bags to contain things. So this one here contains embellishments. This was um, my travel album. I took, well, travel album, my little journal I took with me on my cruise, which was just before I went to the retreat. And I thought if I got bored with working on 12 by 12 layouts that I could work on this, that never happened. So I brought this for no reason. And here I have stamps and dies for the most part. And it looks like there's a few sequins. So I'll go through that. I have another Ziploc bag full of my mixed media that I took along. I had this, um, what do you call it organizer that lies flat and I had this on my desk I think I took some pictures of how my desk was set up if I can find them I will insert them um, round about here anyways I did bring this it has a um, a little thing on the bottom so that it spins this was really great I really appreciated having this especially because the table I was at was one of the smaller tables so this helped me corral all my tools and stuff so this was definitely a good um, good thing to have now I have another one that I used to take to crops all the time but I would take it full so it would already be pre stuffed with stuff um, that one doesn't collapse so this is actually a perfect one for travel and I think I will do that going forward I took my Tim Holtz travel platform um, you know, to be honest, I did use it, but I ran into a couple issues where the ridge in here actually prevented me from using it, and that was a little disappointing. I also found it a bit cumbersome for just doing small stamping, and I did not take any small blocks with me, so next time I would for sure take probably a medium size, you know, maybe a 3x3 three three block, just so that I can do the small stamping. I would still take this along. Because I think I can make it work in most cases. It just was interesting that it wasn't as flexible as I thought it was going to be. Just before I left, I um, had received an order from Amazon. And I had purchased these 
um, Yo Sing brushes. They're actually makeup brushes, but um, in the crafting world, there's a brand that is marketing them as craft tools, and they're very, very similar. I didn't want to pay that kind of price for them, so I just bought these off of Amazon inexpensively. And I did try a couple of these out, and I did like them. Uh, next time, if I were to travel, I would probably just take um, a medium and a small one with me. That's it. So, um, so these were good, but I didn't need to take them all. The only reason why I did was because I didn't have much time to pack, and it was easier to just throw them in as is. Okay, what else we got in here? This little bag here, I took a bunch of ink cubes along as well as a chamois and this was from a creative memories bag from way back in the day it would velcro in it actually works out perfect for ink cubes and i would use this again um i didn't use as many ink cubes as those bought as i brought i probably only used about three of them but to be honest i didn't know what i was doing and it didn't take up that much space so i'm glad that i brought all of these This pouch here is actually a packing cube for travel, and it's got all sorts of goodies in here, mostly tools. I'll go through that separate. This bag was the bag that I had taken with me when I went on the cruise, and I can go through that in a separate video if you would like. Leave a comment below if that's something you're interested in, and I can talk about this in my travel journal. But yeah, make sure you let me know if you're interested, otherwise I won't bother. This was a newer purchase for me, this, this uh, pink 12 by 12 storage thing. I bought it at the last minute. Basically I wanted something to store all the 12 by 12 paper I took along. And I wanted something that would stand up, which this did. I absolutely love this. I don't think this would work as well for me in my craft room because of the way I have it set up but it is perfect for travel and I will talk about what I have in here in a minute. I did bring my paper trimmer. This is an old Fiskars one from way back. I don't use this on a normal ongoing basis but it does work perfectly when I travel. It just slides up against the edge of my um, suitcase perfectly and I don't have to worry about it getting cracked or bent. So that's basically it for the main body of the suitcase. The only other thing in one of the pockets, I have these trays, which are a new purchase for me as well. These were um, inspired by, I think it was Mercy Tierra, who used some valet trays to store her die cuts when she does her um, scrapbooking. And I thought, well, I needed something to take with me that was flat, but that I could store my die cuts while I'm working. I don't like the packages they come in. I hate kind of digging around in them. And so I saw these on Amazon. You got six. To be honest, I probably could have used two more um, because of the way I was working. But they do lie flat. And all you need to do is just snap the corners in place. Now these are not valet trays. These are actually dice rolling trays. I guess the idea is to keep your dice contained and they don't fly all over your table. Um, so it was just perfect. I would empty a package of ephemera or die cuts in here. Um, I was able to, you know, dig through them when I needed them. I also use one of these trays for my small tools like my scissors and my adhesive. You know, the tools that you're constantly using but also constantly losing. So um, that's what I used for those. Anyways, fantastic. I would totally bring these again and I think they're great. Let's get rid of this and then we'll go through the bags. So when I started scrapbooking and flying to my destination as opposed to driving, I had to come up with a different way of approaching what I would bring to a, a scrapbook retreat or a crop. And what I did the first time was last summer when I went to a Scrap Gals event. I picked a project a theme, if you will, and I only brought supplies related to that. And I did that again for this trip, for this uh, retreat. I decided that I was going to scrapbook the cruise that I had literally just been on the week before. So, um, 
before going on the cruise, I knew that I wanted to use the Pink Fresh Out and About um, line, and I had gone through my entire stash and picked anything that I thought coordinated with it. And so that narrowed down the items that I would take. I also went through all my embellishments and um, picked out things and just threw them in containers of stuff that I would take. Okay, so let's talk about stamps and stencils, etc. Okay, so I did bring some gold sequins. I know these aren't stamps and stencils, but they were in the same bag. Basically, I found them after everything else was packed and I just shoved them in. So. I picked one metallic, which was gold. Now it also happened to be that um, some of the other accessories I had pulled um, from another Pink Fresh line had kind of a rose gold look to them, and I'm okay with that. But basically my main thought was gold was going to be my metallic. <clears throat> That's why I picked those. Okay, so I knew that someone was going to be bringing a big shot. I had asked in the Facebook group before going, so that's why I brought some dies. Um, I wanted to start incorporating more um, stamping in my scrapbooking, and so I brought a bunch of scrap scrapbook stamps that I thought would work. Now, to be honest, I did use some, I didn't use a ton, and I brought way more than I needed, but what I'm going to do is keep all of these together in a basket so that while I continue to work on this project, everything's already pulled and I don't have to go looking for anything else. Unless I want to, of course. So, this stamp set here actually was um, from the Hedgehog Hollow. It was actually part of our swag bag that we got from the retreat. I won one of the prizes, so that's what this stamp set was, and then these dies. This um, fairy was part of the swag bag as well. We also went scrap scrapbooking. We also went shopping at a scrapbook store, and so I bought a few more things there because, of course, how can you not? So I bought these Tim Holtz mini stencils, um, and I bought them primarily because of their generic shapes, which is what I like to use for backgrounds. And then they had this travel stamp set, which I thought was really cute. So that's what I bought. I think the rest of these were from my stash. Oh, and this here was also in the swag bag. So this is a Victoria Marie uh, stamp set in conjunction with the Ink Road. I believe she's going to have these for sale if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so what did I all bring? So I knew I wanted to do some mixed media, but um, I had no idea what. So I just took, again, travel or generic shapes. So there was this tile mosaic that I brought from Tim Holtz, as well as this traveler one. So I brought those. This is another stencil that I brought um, with these concentric circles on here. I used all three of these, so I'm pretty super proud about that. I also brought this stencil here. Um, it's actually more of a mask, I guess. I did not use this, but I will, will like to use it or would like to use it. For dyes, I um, brought this World Traveler from MFT. I don't think I used any of this. No, I didn't. But I can see me using it because they're very generic sh travel shapes. I bought some basic circles, which I always bring, and um, other people were able to use this, so that was a fantastic one. This is from Kaiser Craft. It's Adventure Words, so it's got Explore, Discover, Adventure. I did not use these, but I can see that I still would. This one here is a Geotags from Kaiser Craft. I did not use it, but I can see me using it. What else do we have for dyes? So this one here is Let's Get Nautical. Again, it was a, sh a cruise ship, so I brought that along. I did not use that. Um, I figured leaves are always very helpful, and I went to some tropical places, so that's why I brought those, but I did not use them. This noteworthy stamp set, I think this is an... Um, Ellie Studio, I think, and I did use the right here on this one, on one of the images. I brought this one, so awesome, did not use it. Blocked words, I did not use that one. Basically, I don't think I used any of these. But you get an idea, mostly travel related. Okay, oh, another die. 
I did use an alphabet. Which one did I use? Oh, I used one of these alphabets from in here. These are all alphas. I wasn't sure if I was going to run out of stickers, alphabet stickers, so I brought um, stamps just in case. And these are all travel, kind of travel or flat floral. So did I need to bring all of them? No. Am I glad I brought them? Yes, because it gave me the flexibility um, if I wanted to. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So that was that big. Okay, so this one here contains tools, I guess you could say. Um, these Nouveau alcohol markers were part of the swag bag. I had this Miss Sparkle & Co. Um, twine, which I'm glad I brought. I used quite a bit of it. I had this white twine from Stampin' Up. I did not use any of this, but I'm glad I had it just in case. And then I had some little scrap twine bits. Again, glad that I brought but didn't necessarily use. Um, an adhesive remover, I obviously I used that. Not a big deal. Pins. I know I brought a lot of pins with me. I wasn't sure if some of them were going to run out or not. I don't regret bringing them, although it was kind of maybe a little excessive. Paper trimmer blades. Yes, you should always bring extras because there's nothing worse than having a dull blade. And I did have to replace one. More and more pin. I brought, hmm, I think three or four more adhesive refills, which I used. I did not need to bring all of these, but I had no idea. And I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I don't regret bringing those. Scissors, essential. Eraser, essential. Corner rounder, I actually did use this, as did a friend. Um, I brought, it's a regular staple. So it's a regular size staple, but it's just in small format instead of bringing my tiny attacher. And I did use it, and I did bring staple refills, which was good. Glad I brought that. Would I have been glad to brought my tiny attacher? Yeah, but I'm okay with, with what I did bring. Um, washi tape, I actually did use both washi tapes, this to adhere um, stencils down, so not so much in a decorative. And this, I don't know if I, yes, I did use this on one of my pages, so. But that's all the washi tape I brought, just those two rolls. Palette knife, I actually did do some mixed media, so I am glad I brought that. This was a glitter marker that we got in our swag bag. And I always bring a glue stick with me, and I did use this. And this is a broken tool. <laughs> it used to have um, glue in between. Well, actually, this used to fit in here, and I can't figure out how it works. And then there used to be a glue on the end. Now, I brought this, or I keep this in my travel kit, because it's got a pair of tweezers, which I like. It also has, um, it also has a tool that's great for, for um, putting rub-ons on, and I did bring rub-ons with me. And it also has an X-Acto blade. So I didn't use this so much for this retreat, but I did bring this with me on the cruise ship, and I used it a lot because I did not bring a paper trimmer. So that was my um, tool that I used for trimming. So let me throw this back in here and then we'll look at another bag. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this uh, includes um, ink cubes and I'll just show you how they lined up. I probably could have taken, you know, maybe another two or three more cubes, but I didn't end up needing them. The ones that I did use, I used the black and I used um, the blues and I used the yellow and I think maybe someone um, at my table used the pink and then I have my stamp chamois I would just um, get it wet and then keep it in here I'm actually gonna um, dry this out now because um, I don't want it to get all stinky and icky so that is that and because it just fits perfectly and they don't jiggle I would probably take as many again next time if you think about it, it's like maybe the equivalent of three full-size cubes, so, or three full-size ink pads, so I don't feel bad about that at all. Okay, we're just about done. we got just a couple more things left. So this is what I took for my mixed media, and I am very proud to admit that I used every single thing in this container. 
that were in this bag. So what did I bring? I brought some gold embossing paste from Dreamweaver, and I did use that. I bought brought this um, Salt of the Earth pasties from Shimmer's Paints. I brought uh, Faber-Castell Gesso, Heidi Swap Mink uh, Metallic Texture Paste in Mint, and then Heidi Swap Color Shine in Mint and Color Shine in Gold. And then I also had my Tombow Mono, which I never leave home without. And then the last thing I had was a sample size of the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse in Aloe Vera. And I used that too. Very, very happy, very pleased that I used all of these. And then I made an effort. So I think it was a good amount and it was the right sort of the right sort of mix. Now I'm going to tell you there are a few things that I forgot to bring and one of them was a spray bottle. Because I was using things like the packaging technique, um, a spray bottle would have been helpful. Fortunately someone at my table had one so I was able to use that but I would add that next time. And the other thing that I forgot to bring were glue dots. I know, how could I forget glue dots? But I did. So, mixed media. Okay, and the last thing um, besides paper and stickers where are my embellishments? So as I told you before, I went through my entire stash and picked out anything that would coordinate with that line. And I picked out some small alpha stickers um, in colors that coordinated. I did not use every single sheet, but I have to admit that I probably used just about every one. So I did use this, that, that one, that one that one. I did not use the gray, but I did use the navy. So very happy with the selection that I chose there. Um, these are just leftover bits from the collection. Um, I did, as you can see, use quite a bit of this, obviously, because that was my focus. I used some of these sequins, not all of them. This was the BU collection from Pink Fresh, and I used a few things from there. I brought a, a variety of enamel dots kind of things and I used something from most of the packages so that was that was a good pick. Um, any of the leftover bits from the ephemera packs I tried to put them back in the original package um, but if they didn't make it or they got mixed in with other things I'm okay with that. These are from I think I want to say from Freckled Fawn maybe or Ellie Studio one or the others. I used a few of those. I used a lot of these. They were very helpful. And again, this is from that um, Out and About collection. So obviously I used quite a bit and I had doubles. I did bring two different types of foam adhesives. They obviously got stuck in here. These were the larger ones. I used half a sheet of this and I have thinner ones here somewhere or smaller ones. I used some of the stuff from the Here and There collection from Crate Paper. I brought the Rabons. I did not use any of those. I have some mini words. I did not use any of those. This was um, from the swag bag. The Out and About um, packages has some really cool um, backgrounds of the packaging, and so I will reuse those. Again, just more um, ephemera packs. Another collection that I used. Um, quite a bit is the Go See Explore from Echo Park. Um, here's that here and there collection. More of the out and about. These pins, I did not, are not pins, these uh, paper clips. I did not use any of these, but I did use a couple of the arrows. So that was a good bring. Crate paper collection. And again, more packaging. And more from the out and the boat. And this here was a purchase at the scrapbook store. Speaking of purchases, we also stopped at Joann's. And they had these really cute, they're called washi flakes. They're like little washi stickers. And they had this tropical one. They had this one here with great animals. And because I was in South America, I thought the little llama was cute. And I can use the other ones for Valentine's cards or something. And then this one here is with cacti and I um, 
live in a desert. I live in Southern California, so that's perfect. These were super cheap. I think they're regular $5.99 or something like that. And by the time we applied all the discounts and sales to them, they were $0.98. Cents. Fabulous. Love it. I also brought my Tim Holtz little mini um, label letters. Used a ton of these. And then I brought some of these wet wipes from the dollar store just for cleanup. Glad I brought those. And here is the other um, sheet of dimensionals. And I did not use very many of the small ones. Okay, so the only thing left to show you is the cardstock. Actually, I lied and I forgot to tell you about these two packages. So, remember how I said I went through my stash and I just pulled whatever I thought would work? Well, I threw them in these little mini iris containers. And it's a hodgepodge of everything in here. Um, from wood veneer to acrylic pieces to stickers to whatever. And it was fabulous. It doesn't look like I used any, but I actually used quite a few pieces happy I had that and this one here I had some rhinestones and uh, more acrylic like words and I'm just gonna keep these in these boxes and use them until I finish the project and then everything will go back into my stash okay so this is the 12 by 12 paper that I brought along with stickers and there are also some purchases in here so let me just pull this out and I'll tell you what I bought and what is left over from my scrapbooking extravaganza. So I, when I packaged this coming back, I just threw everything in there. I actually bought this on a whim um, because originally I had everything in a Ziploc bag and I knew that that was gonna be too tight and too difficult. So I just picked this up off of Amazon and when I originally went down there, I just literally threw it in like this but it packaged just fine or transported just fine with the paper in it so that's something to keep in mind okay so the first thing I bought at the local scrapbook store was this sage cheese four uh, diamond sparkle six by six stencil I don't know if you can see that so while it's geared towards um, you know Disneyland theme park kind of thing I could see me using this for all sorts of cards and backgrounds so that's why I bought that one and then from the Bella Boulevard, let's go on an adventure collection. It's a little on the cutesy side, but I'm an eclectic scrapbooker and I've got everything and I like everything, which is why I have a room like I have. Anyways, um, I bought the, the pack that includes 20 double side pattern papers, two double sided border papers, um, two double sided daily details papers, and two or one 12 by 12 doohickey sticker sheet. I also bought the ephemera pack that goes with that and the chipboard. Now this chipboard is thinner chipboard than um, what we're used to, which I actually appreciate. So I don't think I need that much dimension, so I'm okay with that. So that was that collection. And then I also bought from Echo Park is this animal safari pack. I go to the zoo quite a bit and I thought this might be kind of fun. So this contains 12 12 by 12 double sided papers and element sticker sheet 12 by 12. And I also bought from that the um, chipboard accents. Let's see here. And the ephemera die cut pieces and the ephemera or the frames and tags kit. So that's that and then I fell in love with this um, Kaiser Craft greenhouse paper it's um, got a lot of succulents on here and um, my friend Layla was visiting um, in the fall and we went to a local garden that has a huge succulent garden in there so this is gonna be perfect for that and then another thing I forgot to bring with me was just some basic black cardstock and don't know why I didn't but I I didn't so I bought some basic black to help and then they also had some of the basil marshmallow cardstock and to be honest I had never tried it before and it's really super thick and people um, I've heard people recommend it for mixed media so I uh, bought five sheets and I actually used one of them there the mixed media I think that's all my purchases but we never know okay so mixed in this pile 
are various collections and just stuff randomly from my stash. I don't know if I'm going to go through all of it, but um, I'll just kind of flip through so you kind of get a feel for what's in there. So um, you'll see some common themes like the Here and There Crate Paper Collection, the BU Collection from Pink, Pre Pink Fresh. Um, I actually had two of these from a box. Um, <laughs> some, some memorabilia from the, uh, from the day. This was an American Crafts Thickers. Um, I don't even remember what some of this stuff is from. I don't remember what collection that's from. Um, more out and about. This was tissue paper from our swag bag. And then little scraps, bits and pieces. And you can see that I used this as a jumping off. This is the out and about paper from uh, Pink Fresh. And while this is from the BU collection, you can see that the colors, colors all go. So that's kind of how I went with it. Like this one here is um, a Dear Lizzie paper, um, but it kind of goes. So that's, that's how I approach this. And then you'll see that there was um, the Go See Explore. And again, if you look back at this sheet, it's not exactly the same color palette, but it's awfully close, right? Like the red's a little bit deeper than the red in here, but it's not that bad. So I think it'll go together enough that if you're looking through my album, it will still look cohesive, but doesn't necessarily all look the same. I had some white thickers. I picked these up at the store. Totally forgot about that. These are from Ulta New Scrapbook Kit. Um, these gold glitter stickers, I believe I got them at Target or Walmart. I can't remember which one, but they are thickers. They're just smaller, which is quite handy. Um, these are just some black thickers. Um, I think I got them at the same place. Here's the um, here and there chipboard. This was from our swag bag. I put 12 by 12 cardstock, white 12 by 12 cardstock in page protectors and I laid out most of my pages before going. Um, I probably did about 50 to 60 layouts. I kind of pre-planned, basically meaning I printed photos and I found a sketch and stuck them in a pocket. <laughs> um, but that was about it. So. Um, Sometimes I used the white cardstock, sometimes I didn't, so if I didn't, it just made its way back in here. Here's more of those thicker stickers. These, it's called a happy. It doesn't, I don't see where I, I don't know who this sticker is from. But anyways, oh no, this is not from there. This is from uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Sorry, you guys, it was wrong. These are the stickers from the um, Out and About collection. Uh, I think this might be the here and there collection. And then this is all just cardstock that I pulled. Now, some I pulled for one page and not the other. Like, for instance, I obviously did not pull it for this page. But the gray went with the collection, so that's why that was chosen. And actually, it's probably more this way. Let me fan it this way. It just gives me... A variety of stuff to flush out those collections that I were using as a base okay and I pulled a lot of cardstock like I'm gonna be real and I had two packs of the um, out and about collection so I had double the cardstock and I had one pack of the um, go see explore one from Echo Park okay. so that's what the cardstock was I have some more of those alpha stickers. This is another thicker. I don't remember the name on this one. Did I write it down? No. And these are gold. This is that rose gold I was telling you about. This is from the BU collection. And then I also had these thickers, Dreamer from Tuesday morning that I brought and didn't use. Anyways, that is everything I brought with me. The crop was four days, and I think I completed 40 pages, 40 or 38 12 by 12 pages and two 6 by 8. So 
it just goes to show you that you can fit everything in a medium sized suitcase um, have it weigh under 50 pounds and you don't need to take the kitchen sink to get a lot done so I just want to encourage you that if you are thinking of going on a retreat and you do have to fly it's totally doable I will do a separate video to go through the layouts that I did and talk about those and like I said if you're interested in my travel journal and what I brought on the cruise ship leave a comment below and I can always do a video on that the travel journal is not done I think I probably got halfway through maybe and that's just what I scrapbooked while on the cruise so um, yeah so that's it thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed the look at what I used or what I had available on my retreat. If you are looking for more information about Victoria Marie, I will leave a link to her website below. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer. And until next time, happy crafting.